Hi friends, today is Friday, July 30th. I'm Mike Malcolm, and here's what's coming up at the Church of St. Mary. This weekend, we celebrate the Feast of Blessed Stanley Rother, Oklahoma priest and martyr. And if you want, check out this week's bulletin. On the inside, there's an article that tells us all about Father Rother. What else is going on in the parish? Well, it is going to be Maureen Clements Day. Mayor G.T. Bynum made a proclamation from the city of Tulsa that May 28th, the Maureen's last day of school earlier this year, is Maureen Clements Day. So we can congratulate her on a career uh, spent serving Catholic education in, in the last 12 years serving the School of St. Mary. Thank you, Ms. Clements. We can also thank in advance all the work that the teachers and our new principal, Lindsay Miracle, are doing to get the school ready for the next academic school year. The teachers have been taking time out of their summer vacation and even some of them bringing their kids in to help set up classrooms to get everything ready for this fall semester. If you will, please say a little prayer for the success of the School of St. Mary and all educators and all schools all around the world. This is still kind of an uncertain time and I'm sure that the prayers will be appreciated. The gym floor is one step closer to being refinished. So as you know, we had some water damage that took place last year that caused part of the floor to buckle. They removed that damaged floor, put in new planks of wood, sanded them down, coated them, sealed them, and now they're applying paint to mark out the basketball and volleyball lines and paint the Guardians logo in the middle of the gym floor. And then later on, we'll have two more coats of a sealant that goes on the top. So uh, this is a, a great time to see this floor really look its best. These workers are really good at what they do. Speaking of talented workers, in the new building, the construction project, it's continuing, of course. They're putting up metal shielding or metal pieces that go around wooden boxes that kind of make the architectural details present on the front of the new building. They look fantastic. Inside, the new building looks fantastic. Parish Youth Minister Kennedy McDonald got a little tour with Chris Shook of Napoles. He showed her what her future youth room and the, some of the meeting rooms will look like next to the youth room. Pretty exciting things. Outside, they are working hard on the courtyard. Now, the courtyard is going to kind of be inside, protected on all sides by buildings, and it will be a quiet place of prayer and beauty, uh, featuring a beautiful Holy Family statue that will be kind of the centerpiece, but there will be trees and shrubs. And then right now, they're pouring concrete that will go down. Then they're going to put a layer of dirt on top of that and then put some paver stones out, so it will kind of be a, uh, a little oasis in the middle of the city. Great stuff. Thank you, Napoles. Women's Ministry is going to have Mexican Bingo on Monday, August 2nd. Look on the website for information about that. Thank you, thank you from the Water Ministry, those who provide water cooling stations for people in downtown Tulsa, especially to Jack Cruz and Mark Olmershauser. Those guys are hardworking fellows. They say thank you so much for the water, but if you've been thinking about donating, please hold off. They've got a ton of water and don't need any more for the, the present time. You've been very, very generous, and they say thank you so much. And finally, don't forget to tune in to Glory Be Podcast, Interesting People and How They Pray. Bishop Month is starting. So we uh, re-released Bishop Condula's interview. He was Bishop uh, or the guest number four on Glory Be Podcast. Coming up next Monday is Bishop Daniel Muggenberg, the Bishop-elect of the Diocese of Reno. On August 9th, it will be um, Archbishop Paul Coakley, the Archbishop of Oklahoma City. He was great. And then we uh, just recorded an interview that will come out on August 16th with Archbishop Peter Wells, who is the Apostolic Nuncio to South Africa and four other countries in the southern tip of Africa. Uh, we also have some surprises that are coming up towards the end of the month. There's five uh, Mondays in the month of August, and there will be five interviews with bishops. These are great men who the Pope has chosen to be the leaders of the church. Tune in. These are some special episodes. Take care. Have a great weekend, and I will see you sometime soon. But before I go, one note. I have a brother-in-law that I'm very proud to say is going to be ordained a permanent deacon next week. So because of that, I will not put out a video because I will be out of town on Thursday and Friday of next week. So no video, and also there will not be streaming mass on Thursday morning or Friday morning. I'll be back on Sunday, and we'll be streaming at 10.30 that day. Take care. Have a great week.